Hello avid followers, welcome back. In today's news, Pink didn't hold back with mocking President Donald Trump when she found out his Tulsa rally reportedly had a smaller than expected crowd at the Box Center on June 20th. The singer took to Twitter to share a clip of a television news report about the low attendance, which reportedly included under 6,200 people out of the venue's capacity of 19,200, and added her own joke, which seemed to indicate she could be could be more popular than Trump, in the attached tweet. I think I sold that same place out in five minutes at Donkey Show, she wrote alongside with a laughing cat emoji. Pink wasn't the only celeb to comment on the Tulsa rally crowd, she also retweeted some other tweets by stars that either mocked the size of the crowd or reaction of the crowd itself. Jane Lynch posted a clip of some yawning Trump supporters at the event, and Billy Eichner responded to a clip of the crowd going wild while Trump took a drink of a glass of water on stage. Is there another planet we can live on yet? His response read. The many tweets about Trump's highly anticipated rally, which was originally supposed to take place on Juneteenth, came after the gathering was expected to have a large turnout. In addition to coronavirus concerns, one of the other reasons the rally may have been smaller than expected is because of the twi of TikTok users and K-pop fans. The two groups claimed they pulled a prank when they registered and secured potentially hundreds of tickets to the rally, only so they would be empty seats when the event actually happened. Despite the outcome, many online social media users still criticized those in attendance for the appear appearing not to wear face masks in the seats of the venue, especially after it was reported that six Trump campaign staffers who worked on the rally tested positive for the coronavirus shortly before the event, according to the Trump campaign. Per safety protocols, campaign staff are tested for COVID-19 before events, Trump campaign communications director Tim Murtang said. Six members of the advanced team tested positive out of hundreds of tests performs, <clears throat> performed. The quarantine procedure, procedures were immediately implemented. No COVID positive staffers or anyone in immediate contact with will be at today's rally or near attendees and elected officials. Days before Trump's Tulsa rally, he gave a warning to potential protesters who planned to make an appearance in the same area he would be in the Oklahoma City. Any protesters, anarchists, agitators, looters, or lowlifes who are going to be going to Oklahoma, please understand you will not be treated like you have been in New York, Seattle, or Minneapolis, the president wrote in a tweet on June 19th. It will be much different scene. That's all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.